Well, it's Jason Thompson of Emergency Products and Research, otherwise known as EPNR. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Mustang Traction Splint and uh, going over a, one of its simple applications. So we're going to be treating a uh, simulated femur fracture uh, today. Uh, and this patient also happens to have a gross tib fib uh, injury. So we're going to go ahead and try and stay um, above that injury. Now, in this case, we're actually the, the life threat that we're concerned about is actually the femur fracture. Uh, so we believe that there also may be some suspicion of uh, from pelvic injury. So we're going to uh, address that as well. So, okay. So for the purposes of this exercise, we're in, this is a simulated traction splint trainer. And uh, to make it to make it easy to see where the traction uh, when it's applied, uh, so we'll see the, the actual reduction. I'm going to make some marks here, so kind of get an idea of how that works once we uh, start pulling traction. Okay, so now as far as the Mustang traction splint, uh, it's I actually have it stowed in one of my modules from my own rig, um, but go ahead and. Uh, throw a coban out here actually have have it a flat board splint here as well to make things easy and then the mustang traction splint mustang traction splint is uh, 10 inches long four inches wide and one inch deep uh, weighs in approximately eight ounces so doesn't get much smaller or lighter than that so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this set up so a little piece of scotch tape on here we're gonna remove that and we open this up. I already have this notched out to make it easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tear that away. Keeping everything in, in the package uh, so it makes it easy for me to, to keep track of where everything's at. So I'm gonna pull this out, start out with the wet the, the straps. So I have two straps here held together by a rubber band, make it easy so things don't just go flying around on the ground. And uh, we made it very easy for you guys uh, with uh, introducer tabs so you understand your orientation. So let's start with that first. So this is actually the track, the, uh, the, the anchor harness. And what the way it works here is this uh, black ring always goes towards the inside of the leg, right? So we're gonna go towards the medial aspect of the leg. In this case, we're gonna stay, uh, we're gonna try and stay at the uh, distal femoral head. Uh, you know, uh, because we're going to try and stay away from the injury itself. So we're just going to try and pull it, but staying away from the kneecap as much as we possibly can. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take this around the leg, simulate just like that. It's going to come up through the double Ds. As it goes through the double Ds, we're going to go through this little, little uh, tunnel here, if you will. And you go through that and we're gonna come back around and then we're gonna go up through and then back down and then that's what we'll tighten up so that's the application so I'll, I'll show you here on the leg okay so again the uh, D rings are going towards the inside of the leg Let me adjust this here a little make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing all right, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna bring the strap up. It's gonna go through the double Ds. And if, obviously this is gonna go toward these uh, pal pouches here, we're gonna go towards the lateral aspect of the leg, but for as we're setting this up, it's not so critical at this step. So we're gonna grab this and go towards the, again, towards the lateral aspect of the leg and we're gonna pull on, on the D-ring. We're gonna come up through, go through the Ds, make sure this is nice and snug. Just wanna make sure it's as tight as you can get it. Obviously, you don't have, we don't wanna have a, uh, we're not trying to, to have a, uh, a band around there, so. But, all right, so that's that's in place. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the, uh, the traction harness. Traction harness, we're gonna undo that. Back down here. So the traction harness is just like that. Now, on the traction harness, we have a uh, S-clip. This S-clip is actually a remnant of a project we were working on um, 
called the uh, tables, um, which allowed the uh, the use of the uh, the, the actual ju uh, Sam Junctional tourn Tourniquet or SJT uh, to be used uh, in a pelvic injury. So if we had to be able to mobilize, we were able to tie into, into the Junctional Tourniquet and that's what the S-clip was for. So now this part of it is going to go towards the head. You'll see this little pouch here. That's going to go towards the head. And then this uh, long strap is going to go around the medial aspect of the leg, around the back, around the dorsal side, and then come up and actually connect at the lateral side. So let me go ahead and put that around. Let's see. Make sure we're, uh, you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. So go ahead and on like that. Again, that went inside the, the leg there down here and we're just going to put this through the uh, the D's but we're not going to tighten that down okay now this is going to go out uh, toward the head right I'm actually going to loosen that up okay so that goes all the way out just like that all right now I'll go ahead and get the pouch and then the pouch you'll see uh, quick cravats and you'll see the uh, the pole sections. So we're going to go ahead and take the uh, the pole sections out. All right. So they're all held together uh, by a uh, bungee cord, or elastic shot cord. And then here's the the full the full length of the pole. So, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. This is critical. There's a little tiny pouch or a tunnel here. You're gonna actually place the pole through that tunnel. And then we're gonna go up. And we're gonna place this inside that little pouch. Okay. So at this point, we have a couple opportunities. Look at this, how much length we want to have as much length up here as we can we, as we can manage. So I want to go ahead and drop this down a few to get into that pouch. So take this out here. I'm going to drop this down by two sections. I'm going to put this back up in here. Again, I'm going to feed this into that pouch. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to drop and then into this pouch here. Okay, again, those introducer tabs make it a lot easier. All right, so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna need a little, as much play as I can get on that part, so I'm gonna tighten that section down right here. All right, so at this point, it's nice and snug against the leg. Let me go ahead and make sure my trainer's reset here, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the quick cravats. Now, the quick cravats were designed uh, to be free of hook and loop. So there's no hook and loop in this design whatsoever. So there's a set of three. So we're gonna go ahead and take these guys up under, up under the knee there. And we're gonna walk one, one up. Now at this point, we're just simply putting in place to uh, hold the pole section where it needs to be, so it doesn't bow away from the leg. Take another one. We're gonna go around the uh, bottom, hold that nice and tight against the leg, make sure it doesn't bow away. And then the same with the center. So, all right. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply traction. So we've already done our neurovascular exam. Uh, so we have our, our baseline. So what we're going to do is we're going to incrementally pull traction. And uh, let me go ahead and just make sure you guys can see this. So I'm going to angle this up a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do is simply just going to, I'm going to place my hand on, on the knee here 
just to kind of make sure we get some stability. And then I'm going to grab, let me see here, make sure you're seeing that. All right, so I'm going to grab the, uh, the strap and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull. And make sure you guys take a look here so you can kind of see the reduction. So we're going to pull real, real gently. And we're going to get incremental, get a little resistance on the grass. And then, uh, so we'll pull, reassess neurovascular function at this point. And if we need to, we're going to pull some more. Okay. And at this point, we just go ahead and simply tie off the uh, this right here. Make sure it doesn't slide anywhere. So. Anyway, that's that's it. At this point, I would go ahead and uh, I would go ahead and put a simple splint on there, uh, put some Coflex Coban in place, um, and then I would go ahead and probably put a compression dressing on there uh, over the wound uh, to further try to to control that bleed and uh, stabilize the injury. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to ma manage uh, and monitor neurovascular function and. Uh, Obviously, if we haven't already done so, uh, we might want to consider uh, putting a CM, CM splint on it to, to make sure we close that space just in case we miss something. And uh, anyway, stabilize that pelvis and uh, we're good to go. All right, so I hope this is helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can reach me at jasont at epandr.com or at 330-552-2560. All right, thank you very much. and. Uh, Good luck, and I uh, look forward to uh, to talking to more about you guys, <laughs> to discussing this more with you guys. All right, thanks a lot, and I'll see you. All right, bye.